Hello everybody, what's going on? Vic Showman here. So, to start off the video, I would just like to say I'm sorry about not recording for a while and uploading for a little bit. The main reason is because I moved back into college for my second year and I'm just kind of... That's the kind of the main reason why I haven't uploaded as recently. But don't worry, now that I think I know when my recording times will be, I will be back at it again and uploading hopefully very soon. Hopefully pretty, pretty, uh, pretty often is my hope at least. But I would just like to say thank you guys so much for all the, for all the report. Uh, <laughs> I can't speak. Support. Thank you so much for all the support. It's, uh, it's really crazy to think that we're already getting towards 500 subscribers and that's just amazing to me thinking that we're almost halfway 2000 almost we're on our way we're on our way but i would just like to start the video by saying thank you so much for all you guys support because you guys you guys are awesome you guys are the real g's man and i <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying anymore but i really appreciate it so thank you guys so much so for this video uh, you guys already know what it's gonna be about. It's gonna be about my uh, my thoughts, kind of on the on the mountaintop quest changes. I might touch on Wendigo here and there, but I can't remember the specific details, as in grenade kills and whatnot. But no, it'll be mainly about my thoughts on the on the mountaintop quest changes. Um, if you guys saw my tweet, um, <laughs> probably not many of you guys. I don't have very many followers. I don't use Twitter too much, but I, I guess I'll just spend this time shout out. I do have a Twitter. I um. I uh, post every time I upload a new video, so hey, if you guys, uh, there's that, if you know, if uh, you, you want to keep up to up to date with things, but I'm just messing. <laughs> Enough of my plugs. Anyway, so this will be, this video will be about my, uh, my kind of, my thoughts on it, and as usual, I, I won't have a script, so a lot of this will just be me uh, <laughs> ad-libbing for the entire video, and I will be trying to talk about it while playing a Crucible match, so yeah, this can be kind of, Kind of weird, kind of. I'm gonna try though. I'm sure, I'm sure everything will turn out perfectly fine, hopefully. But anyway, um, I'm gonna do my best to not keep things totally, cause I know this could be. It's a little bit of a controversial subject, especially the people that, cause I, I, I do understand the quest is very hard, and I do think it needed, it needed changes. But I'll save that for the gameplay. But um. I'll do my best to keep this video from being too ranty and getting too salty, so I'll try to stay as, <laughs> as composed as possible. So the loadout I'm going to be using for this video, I'm just going to be using the mountaintop, well of course because you know it's a video about the mountaintop, and then recluse and I'm going to be that guy and use colony, I mean it's kind of fun, it's super super easy to use, but not that I can you know encourage it. And then also uh, an exotic I've been, really been enjoying using recently is the Kepri Sting. I think a lot of people think it's really bad. But I think what a lot of people don't know is that actually whenever you get your melee, and I only have one melee mod, but just imagine if my whole my whole set had melee mods on it. Um, every time you, uh, basically whenever um, I get a smoke, I throw it down on myself, and it actually gives me wall hacks temporarily. So at the beginning, beginning of a match, I can throw it down and just see where everybody is pushing, and it's a really, it's a, I think it's a really useful exotic, and I think it's really underrated, but this video isn't about that. I just thought I'd give this a quick shout out, just let people know, like, hey, this thing doesn't suck. But if you guys are Spectral Blades or use Night Stalker, I just, uh, I recommend it. But anyway, the mountaintop. So then again, you know, again, I don't have a script. It's all just going to be, I mean, obviously I don't have a script because I'm playing a <laughs> the flipping game. I'm not going to read and, and, you know, speak at the same time. As you as you can tell, but <laughs> anyway, so the mountain top changes. So I might as well get right to it. So as you guys already know, the mountain top quest was really ridiculous and um, so ridiculous that people would actually go into kill lobbies in order to complete it because it was so intense. I myself, I would just like to say I did do it completely legit. Um, it took a lot of time, but I did do it 100% legit. And I got through it, and I actually got through it uh, not too long before the changes were made. So you could probably tell that I, you know, I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed. Then again, it's kind of my own fault, and I actually did want to get it done before the changes were made, just because I kind of wanted to, I wanted to put in that work and that effort to get it done before those changes were made, just because I felt like I, not that it makes a difference. I just felt like you know I was earning it a little bit more. Not that you're not either way, but again, you know. Don't want to keep things too controversial, but 
Um, I already put in all the, you know, a bunch of the work to get most of it done. So I, was, I just wanted to finish it before those changes were made. Because I had already, you know, I had already put in a lot of the work. But, um, man, this is hard to speak and talk at the same time. And that is a shotgun. So, um... <clears throat> So basically, the, what it was is, and this is in terms of quick play, quick play, because um, you get a bonus and um, you get bonus in um, in uh, competitive. Um, so in terms of quick play, it actually took 200 double kills and 100 um, calculated trajectory medals, which is essentially getting three grenade launcher kills without dying. Um, the main setup I used to get this done was the Malicious Birthright. For anybody that's trying to get it done, Malicious Birthright, um, Fighting Lion, and I used the uh, Edge Transit. Um, initially, I was using the Colony, and I realized it was going to be... Sup, bro? I realized it was going to be a lot more helpful to use... Um, the edge transit just because you could place your shots and it wasn't so, you know, random because people could just jump over everything. But, um... Uh, and, and correctly, my numbers are wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is correct. And the 100 calculated trajectory medals was reduced down to 25. And I think that one's a pretty, and I have to reload. I thought that was a pretty big oof, to be honest with you. Too hard, and I did think changes needed to be made. At least something. Then again, maybe not. Because there were kill lobbies and people were finding the ways to swindle, uh, swindle out of it. So maybe not. Maybe nothing needed to be done and people could just go into a kill lobby to complete it. Like, that was also an option. And I feel like that was fine. But, um... <clears throat> but, no, I do feel that it was... I don't know. Even though part of me thinks that, yeah, it did need a change, um... I understand where the hate can be coming from and, you know, where, you know, where are the people going to be coming from? But, you know, people who haven't done the quest and even people who have done the quest, um, it's just, for the numbers to get decreased by that much, I felt was pretty ridiculous. I felt like, um, it was kind of an exaggeration, um... And I feel like even in one of their, I think if I remember correctly, in one of their posts, their twabs, I thought they even said, they worded it in a way where it was like, oh, um, you know, make this change so-and-so in a way so it's not, um, um, I don't know how he just lived, but, um, make this change so-and-so, um, so it's not too, I guess, I, I can't remember the wording you used, too offensive, or not to, like, discourage the people that did go through all that work. Um... And I think they were. I, I honestly, it, I, it just sounds like I'm speaking gibberish. So chances are, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But so after they said that, I assume like, oh, you know, they'll probably decrease it, you know, a little bit, but not make it too drastic to the point where people who did go through all that work would be annoyed, right? That's what I. That's what I thought. That's what I was going to assume. But then when I saw the numbers, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I do realize, I mean, changes need to be made. I was a little. I was a little annoyed. I was I was pretty annoyed, not because you know I, I you know I went through so much work to to get that quest done. You know, you put your heart and your soul, especially the people that did it legit, to getting that done, and then um, and then you see the post and it's like wow, 200 reduced down to 75, which is less than half, and 100 reduced down to 25, which is a quarter, and uh, I'm just like. This is a really stupid play. I'm not gonna lie. How, how am I still alive? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was a little annoyed. I, I really was. I was thinking maybe they could reduce the 100 down to like 60 and or 75 and the 200 down to 125, something like that. But no, they reduced it so much that it just like, you know, to the point where you could probably get it done in like a day or two if you really tried. And it just, I was, I just killed myself, man. Anyway, I little to uh, you know, little to say. I mean, I was a little, a little annoyed. Um, and I again, again, I totally to keep things you know not controversial. Don't someone I, I left some comment in another video, but that someone said, um, met con commented something along the lines of like, oh, imagine you know, wanting others to suffer, 
because of your own entitlement or something like that. And, and, and that's not, I don't want others to suffer. I realized the quest was difficult. It was stupidly hard and long. And like, I realized that. And I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd want to put anyone through that. And I realized that people have lives. They got things to do. They got work. They got school. Not everyone has the time to get 100 calculated trajectory medals. It's freaking ridiculous. Then again, there were the kill lobbies, but it was, it was pretty stupid. Um, and it did need to be changed, but the change I thought they made was, it. not gonna lie, it was, I felt like it was a little bit offensive to the people that did put in the work, a little bit, I don't want to say disrespectful, I mean, I love Bungie, I love what they're doing with this game, but it was a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie, and in terms of keeping things, and I'm not doing anything right now, but this video is about the commentary, not about the gameplay, but, um, in terms of keeping things PG, um, Guy's almost dead. In terms of keeping things PG, I was a little, um, I was a little mad when I found out the news, and I know I'm a broken record right now just because I'm trying to find things to talk about to fill, uh, this video, but no, I feel like, um, and not to say this should have been done, because, you know, the people that, um, the people that got, you know, the OG Claymore, and then they got a special emblem, and then they got the Redrix to drop from them, the, the broadsword, and they didn't have to go through the quest. Not saying this is anything like the Claymore. Not at all. I, it, it's just quest changes. It's not a completely different weapon. Um, I'm not saying it's anything like that. But, um... It's just... I feel like if they gave a little bit of something in return to the people that did go through the effort of collecting this weapon, um... It would have been a little bit more forgiving. Um, that, or at least not making the changes drastic. Um, sorry, I'm just losing my train of thought. I'm doing so bad. <laughs> it's hard to talk about something like this while playing. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, yeah. I, I And I feel like maybe if they made it not as uh, much like it, as if it was... It just seems to like a kind of like a slap in the face. The people that did put in the effort to... To get in the mountaintop right and again please don't give me hate i do realize um i do realize that it was too hard and changes did need to be made but i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like they made it a little too easy um a little too easy to the point where like i said it's kind of like a screw you to all the people that um that did go through the effort beforehand and spent weeks you know forever trying to get this mountaintop and in my case i got it what a week or two before these changes were made and it's like hey yeah it's more than half is easy now you got to put in 25 percent of the effort than you did beforehand and here you go the mountaintop and it was just a little it was a little annoying i'm not gonna lie um then again like i said um no it was too hard changes need to be made but i don't think the numbers should have been what they were like i said i think it should have been instead of 200 perhaps um like i said before maybe 125 or 100 and then the 100 should have been decreased on like 60 or something along those lines right but uh and like i said i this is coming across as super ranty and i'm doing terrible right now but um <laughs> Again, please don't give me hate. I feel for all of you guys. I understand not everybody has the time. I do realize that not everybody has the time to get this quest done because of how ridiculous and stupidly long it is. And I, I get that. I totally understand that. Um, look at that. The game is over. But no. Um, I, to I totally get that. And changes did need to be made. But I just feel like the way Bungie handled it, I feel like they took the easy way out and they kind of... They just didn't... And that was pretty bad. But don't worry about the gameplay. It was just for sh just for you guys' entertainment. This is a discussional video. But anyway. And I feel like they just they didn't handle it the best way possible. I feel like they made the quest a little bit too easy. And it was just seemed... I don't want to say disrespectful. It's just kind of... I feel it just kind of... I feel like it's just going to rub all the people who went through all that effort a little bit the wrong way. Um, and I've said this a thousand times. Please don't give me hate. I understand. I feel for all of you. The quest was stupid. It was stupid. It was too hard. And I totally understand where you're coming from. I don't want you guys to suffer. Trust me, I want what's best for this community. But if I'm being 100% honest, I was slightly annoyed. But I'm not that annoyed anymore because, you know, you know, I already put in the effort. It's all past me. But I guess that's just my that's just my thoughts on the video. I mean, <laughs> on the quest changes that I've. 
This was super ranty, I know. And I apologize for this. I'm not going to be surprised if I get a lot of hate for this video. But, um... But, yeah. I guess that's all I've got to say. Those are my thoughts. And I, I know I was a super broken record throughout that entire video. But those are my thoughts on the mountaintop quest changes. Again, yes, this is the 100th time I've said this. Changes need to be made. But I feel like Bungie should have handled those changes just a little bit differently. So, those are my thoughts on it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, I Again, this is just kind of a discussional video. I, I hate to be coming back after more than two weeks, almost three weeks of not uploading to a, a video that's a little ranty, but I just thought I kind of wanted to get my thoughts on it out there. And here's that. So, anyway, I should have another video about the... Um, a video on the my thoughts on the the crimson coming up. I know super freaking random, but <laughs> hey, I need content. So hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to stay as positive as possible, and I'll see you guys in the next video.